Let's take a look at Fortress. A large size map designed with many rooms and staircases. Looking at the blueprint, we can see the first floor and the second floor, which can be accessed from the roof. To help us get situated, let's divide the first floor into three areas, starting on the west side of the map. From the lobby, we can see the lobby stairs to our right, which cover the west side of the building and lead to the second floor. Attackers should be careful if entering the lobby. The indestructible wall in the middle of the room can hide potential opponents. We can also see the main hallway from here. Now let's breach into the music room, which has two windows that lead outside. Next we come to the sitting room, which has destructible walls that lead to the main hallway. Moving on into the changing room, a central junction that links the sitting room, the main hallway, and the hammam, which is the most important room on the west side of this floor. The hammam is a huge two-level room with several objectives, and it offers direct access outside. Let's go through this destructible wall and arrive in the showers, where we can see a window that leads to the garden path. Take note that holding the showers can be decisive to defend the hammam. Moving back into the hammam, we breach our way into the hammam hallway and head north towards the central stairs, then back into the main hallway. Let's take another look at the map before we continue our tour. Next, we're going to venture into the north side of the map. From the main hallway, we enter the dining room. There's an opening here that leads to the courtyard. We'll get out there in a minute. Rotating back around, we breach our way back into the lobby, where we originally started. Moving east now, we'll go past the office with its hatch that leads to the tower renovation, which is a direct access from the roof, and head down the hall until we reach the courtyard, which we mentioned before, and which is a key area in the building. It features a skylight, a breachable wall that leads outside, the courtyard ladder, which provides access to the second floor, and a way into the dining room via this open window. All right, let's take one last look at the first floor blueprint. Time to check out the southeast side of the map. From the courtyard, we move south through the waiting room, then breach into the kitchen, which is an important room that may contain objectives. You'll want to note that the kitchen is designed with a destructible wall that leads out to the main hallway. Okay, let's head into the cafeteria, another important location. Both the cafeteria and the kitchen have really intricate layouts. You'll want to watch out for hidden defenders. To the north, we can see the waiting room and the courtyard, where we were earlier. Breaching through this destructible wall, we arrive in the infirmary, whose two windows lead outside to the courtyard path. From here, we can get back to the hammam hallway, with the hammam located at the end. And the last room of this floor is the laundry room, designed with a hatch. Now let's take the old tower stairs and head up to the second floor. The blueprint for this floor is only divided into two areas, just to make the tour easier. We'll start on the south side of the map. The old tower stairs lead us to the old tower. Here we can see a hatch that we just saw in the laundry room, as well as two windows that lead outside. Be careful if you're defending this area. Attackers can potentially arrive from the roof. From the shisha hallway, we'll access the games room. Note the destructible walls. Now let's move into the briefing room, which gives you access to the courtyard. Rotating around, we head to the dormitory which is an important location because it may contain objective sites. It's an intricate room with plenty of hiding spots. Moving through this destructible wall, we breach into the shisha lounge. You'll want to note the hatch, which provides access from the roof. Now we'll move west towards the central stairs hall, which has several doors and windows that lead out onto the hammam roof. This area is a key entry point for attackers. Now we get to the central stairs and head north, where we reach an intersection. Let's check the map one last time. Now we're heading to the north section. Let's turn left and head towards the museum, which has destructible walls. Note the windows that lead outside. Up north, these are the tower stairs, also known as the lobby stairs on the first floor. They can bring us back down to our initial entry point in the lobby. Moving on, we get to the tower hallway then to the tower renovation area, which provides access from the roof. Back into the tower hallway, we breach into the commander's office, which is a highly destructible room that's located right above the main hallway, and then enter into the bedroom. These two rooms are both important locations. They may contain objectives. 
We move into the bathroom, and then from here we rotate back to the central stairs hall, and finally into the courtyard with its view into the briefing room. It's worth noting that the courtyard has many windows and is located right next to the courtyard tower, which provides access from the roof. Fortress has four spawn points. Located in the northwest sector is the main gate entrance. To the north, you'll find the parking spawn point. Towards the south is the garden entrance. And the final spawn point is the stable, which is located to the southeast. To summarize, Fortress is a large map. Its rooftop and hammam roof provide numerous possibilities to access the second floor. There are two objective sites for each game mode on each floor. It's designed with four interior staircases, one ladder, and plenty of exterior staircases. Hope you took notes, operators, because someone has got to hold the fort.